So in this module, we are going to dive a bit into technical side of the things. But don't worry, it's going to be easy to understand. You'll learn how to publish a medium post automatically without needing to do it manually. We will use AI and automation software to do the heavy lifting. Each chapter will break things down so you can follow along easily. We won't get deep into the programming or coding. Instead, we'll focus on simplifying everything for you. So what we are going to learn? Well, it might be sound technical, but I will make it very simple for you. In this chapter, I'll give you an overview of the automation system we'll be building. It acts like a software that will automatically publish content on medium every day without needing your involvement first we will understand the big picture of our automation system then we will start building it step by step after this chapter we will dive into the step by step guide of creating the automation software by the end of this module how to use ai and python automation to publish content on medium automatically so as you can see on your screen this is the overview of our system the automation tool we are about to develop by looking at this diagram you might feel overwhelmed or think it is quite complex but in reality it's not as complicated as it may seem at first glance i have already simplified it to make it easier to understand. I'm just trying to give you an overview of the entire process through this picture. As you can see in this flowchart, I have broken down all the complex concepts into very simple terms and explained them chapter by chapter. I have structured the content of the module in a such a way that you can easily implement it in the simplest way possible and build the automation system easily. First, you can see here that we have YouTube. Basically, as you have seen in the previous module, we have discussed how to get the video link from YouTube and then obtain the transcript of the video. After getting the transcript with the help of ChatGPT in Cloud AI, we will convert it into an article or blog post. Here we are going to do the same thing, but it will be entirely done by AI and automation software, not by us. Our task here is simply to get the link and put in the specific file. So let me explain it further. First thing here is that we are going to use a platform known as Python Anywhere, where we'll run this program. You might wonder why we are using Python Anywhere. Well, Python Anywhere is a platform where you can run Python programs. Now, why we're talking about Python? Because we are going to use Python scripts and Python is a programming language that is suitable for building AI tools. So we used it. I have already created this Python script so that we can run this program and build this automation system. You might think that you have to write code or you have to write programs, but you don't have to write any code here. I have already crafted all the scripts. You just have to obtain the scripts and upload them to Python anywhere. I have done all the backend work and all the heavy lifting work from my side. You don't have to do anything. You just have to follow the steps that I'm showing you right now. Your job is to learn everything in a chapter wise manner. I have broken down everything very easily for you, but try to understand your own task. First, you'll go to YouTube search for videos for all the keywords that you have then you'll get the links of the youtube videos that you find finally you'll put all the links in this txt file that you can see right now before you input all the links in the txt file first you'll upload all the python files inside python anywhere i'll provide you all these python files you will create an account there and upload all the python files then you will input all the links in the txt file you can get 100 video links or you can get 30 90 or any number depending upon how long you want to run the program so you can just go to youtube and get all the links if you want to run it for 90 days or let's say three months then you can gather 90 video links after putting all the video links here our program inside python anywhere will fetch the video links one by one first it will fetch the video link and then it will retrieve the transcript or subtitles of the video after opening the subtitles it will send them along with the prompt to openai i hope you understand this process the openai api will generate an article based on the prompt and subtitles provided simply put we can say like we are sending our ingredients prompt and subtitles to openai api like sending vegetables to the restaurant chef to cook them. In return, the OpenAI API will provide us an article along with the image. This process is depicted in the diagram where the prompt plus transcript is sent to OpenAI and in return it gives us an article plus image. In the next step, when the article along with the image is returned, our program will perform some SEO settings automatically. Specifically, it will add specific tags and optimize it for SEO. All this task will be done automatically by the program. You won't have to do anything. You just need to set up some minor tasks such as specifying how many hours you would like to set up for the automation and inputting API key. These tasks are not very complex and I have explained them in detail in each chapter. Once you set up the program, it will keep running for as long as you want, like forever. But there is something important I need to tell you. I mentioned before that you can use Python anywhere for free, but I made a mistake. It's free to start and you can run a lot of the programs for free, but specifically for our automation program, it's not possible. If you can afford it, you need to pay Python anywhere and OpenAI some amount. Since we are using OpenAI API, we have to pay around 4 to 5 dollars every month and for Python anywhere, it's around 5 dollars every month so in total it will be around ten dollar every month if you can invest ten dollar every month that's the maximum amount you will spend not more than that only ten dollar or somewhere around ten dollar for this automation it's my promise to you i have personally used it and the monthly cost from my side is only ten dollar every month even sometime less than that but if you're using python anywhere you have to make sure you can pay for it otherwise don't start with this you can skip this module go to the next module i have already explained how to publish content how to create content in the previous module right but here we are using automation 
compression and python script which is the first way the way we explained in the previous module was the best way actually this one involves ai and automation so you might encounter some issues medium might detect it as ai generated content and your post might not get views from medium distribution if you always publish content through medium automation so sometimes you need to use a previous method as well but you will get views from search engine as far as i have observed let me re-explain the automation process again so that you can understand first you have to go to youtube just like before then you will search for the videos and you will get the links and put those links inside the txt file that is text file so line by line then you will run the program and then our program will fetch the video links one by one from this file it will then retrieve the subtitles of each video after getting the subtitles it will send them along with the prompt to openai openai will convert it into article along with the image our program will combine this image and article and tags and optimize it for seo finally the program will automatically publish it to medium this is the overall process i have explained to you i hope that you don't feel confused or think it's too complex make sure to watch each chapter of this module carefully they are all important especially if you are serious about automation by the end of the last chapter you will have a built in automation software which will publish your content automatically on medium just as i promised now go to the next chapter and learn how we can get all the scripts for your automation in this chapter we're going to talk about the resources that are required for this automation program as i discussed in the last chapter that we need python script for this automation and in this video i'm going to provide you all the python script that is required for this automation just go down below this video and click on the button and when you click on the button you will be redirected to this page and this is my github account where i have uploaded the code like all the python scripts that is required for this automation program is almost ready to launch or you can say ready to run i have prepared it in a format so that you can easily run the program you don't need any changes here you just have to replace some of the things here like your api keys other than this program is almost ready to run you can also read the readme.md file if you read this readme.md file then you are going to learn what are the things you should do for running the program now to download the entire scripts for this automation system you can simply just come here on code here then just click here on code then after clicking on code then you can see like download zip so just click here on download zip so now as you can see the medium automation zip file is downloaded here next you just go to file manager here then you can just see on the download section that the medium file is downloaded here so just click on this medium automation program and then just click on these three dots after clicking on these three dots then just click on extract all then just click on extract as you can see the folder is extracted and now you have all the scripts here as you can see if you open this then you can see all the python scripts are here now next step is that you have to move to the next chapter where i'm going to explain about python anywhere where we're going to host the entire program to run this automation system all right, let's dive into getting started with Python Anywhere. Simply head over to pythonanywhere.com. I'll drop the link in the description below for your convenience. Once you're there, you'll find the interface straightforward. You can easily host and run your Python code directly from the cloud. No need for any external tools. Personally, I often use VS Code and various desktop applications, but with Python Anywhere, everything happens right in the cloud. This means you can code Python entirely online without the hassle of managing local environments. Whether it's running scripts or building automation systems, Python Anywhere has got you covered. To start using Python Anywhere, you need to make an account. Just go to the website and click the button that says, Start running Python online in less than a minute. When you click, you can make a beginner account for free. Or if you want extra features and better support, you can choose to pay $5 a month. If you want your programs to run without any problems, the $5 option is better. With the free beginner account, sometimes you might need to check if your program is working right. It's a bit of a hassle, but it's worth it if you're trying to save money. Since creating a beginner account is free, I will simply click on Create a Beginner Account. Then, in the next step, I have to enter my username, email address, password, and confirmation password. So, I will do just that. I will input my username, one of my email addresses, and passwords. Once I'm done, I will check the box that says I agree to the terms and conditions. After that, I will click on Register. Now as you can see, our account has been successfully created. I'll simply click on End Tour because I will explain everything here. Next, we need to confirm our email address. To do this, go to your email inbox. Let's open Gmail or any other email service you use. Here we have the confirmation email we received. I'll open the email, and then I will click on the provided link to confirm our email address. As you can see, it redirected to Python anywhere, and we can see our email is now confirmed. So just click on Save, and we're done. So now, we'll navigate to the dashboard. I'll click here on Dashboard, and then you'll see we're on the dashboard. Let me explain some things here. With the free account, 
we have two consoles. First, let me clarify what a console is. It's where you run the program. It's like a command line where you give commands to run the entire automation system. It's not very complicated, so just follow along with what I'm showing you. There's nothing too difficult or complex. It's easy to understand. Just pay attention to what I'm showing you and you'll understand what's going on. Now we need to upload all the files that we just downloaded from GitHub, like those medium automation programs. So we have to open each file from the medium automation folder one by one and upload them here. To do that, I'll just click on browse files. So now you can delete all the existing files here. So I'll start deleting all the files here. As you can see, I've deleted all the files. Now I'll also delete the existing directories here. So now that we've deleted all the files and directories, we need to create a new directory here. Let's name it medium automation directory. After typing the name, just click on new directory. So a directory is a folder. You can see where the new directory is added and we are inside this directory called medium automation. So now we have to upload all the files here one by one. You can't upload all the files at once, which is a bit of a hassle. So we'll upload each file one by one. I so I'll just click on upload file to upload our first file to the directory medium automation. So just click here and then I'll navigate to the medium automation folder, the folder that we downloaded from my GitHub account. I'll simply go to that file. I'll just open that file and then I'll select all the files one by one to upload. So I'll just select from this one, the first file, then I will click on open. Okay, as you can see, our first file is uploaded here. Then we'll upload the second one. So the second file is also uploaded here. Similarly, we'll go for the third one. You don't have to upload this one, Git Attributes. You just have to upload the Get Next Video file. So select that one and then just click on Open. So as you can see, three files are uploaded here. Now we will upload all the remaining files. So finally, you can see that I have uploaded all the files here, including all the important ones required for this project. The readme file is not important, but still, I uploaded it so that we can read it and get information about the program. The rest of the files are all here. Now what you have to do is simply go to the consoles here. Let me explain a little bit about the consoles here. If we want to run any program, we have to use the console. We have to create a new console. So we'll just click here on console to add a new one. And then we have to go with bash console. Clicking on bash console will help you start a new console where we can run our program. But before that, there are some more settings that we need to do in the file settings. So we'll go back to the files. In this chapter, we're going to talk about how to set up content ideas for automation, specifically how to fill your TXT file with video links. We discussed this TXT file in the automation overview, which is the first chapter of the module. In the previous module, content creation with AI assistance, we did everything almost manually. We just took the help of ChatGPT and Claude AI to write content. But here, you need the content sources pre-planned so that everything will happen automatically with no manual intervention required. So for that, we need all the videos whose links we're going to put in the TXT file. To get all the video links, you have to follow the same procedure as you followed in the last video. But the question is, in which file are you going to paste the video links? Let me show you the file. If you navigate to Python Anywhere, specifically to the dashboard, and then proceed to the files section and click on browse files, you'll see that we have the medium automation directory here. So I'll just open the medium automation directory. After opening it, you'll see there's a TXT file named YouTube video file .txt. You have to open this YouTube video file because here we are going to put links to all the videos one line at a time without missing any line. Let me explain this clearly. You cannot skip any lines. For example, if you put one link on the first line, then you have to put the next link on the next line. You cannot leave any gaps between the lines. Don't make this mistake. You have to fill the content exactly like this. Now to get the links, you have to go to the Medium Content Planner Google Sheet. After accessing the Content Planner, you can follow the next keyword and copy it. Then simply go to YouTube and search for that keyword and get the video link. This is one way, as I previously demonstrated, of obtaining the video link. In the previous module, I showed you how to find the video link, so you can follow the same strategy. Copy the keyword, go to YouTube, search for the video, get the link, 
and then come back and paste it on the txt file. This way you will get video links for the second keyword, third keyword, etc. However, instead of going through this lengthy and tedious process, there's a more efficient strategy, the best videos method, which is a secret way. To use this strategy, you need to watch the video that's popping up on your screen. This video is titled, My Secret Content Research Strategy, and you can find it in the Content Research and Planning module, specifically in the last chapter. Make sure you watch this video so that you can utilize this strategy to fill your list of best videos. Once you've used this strategy to fill your box with YouTube videos, you can simply copy all the YouTube video links from here. Then, go to the YouTube video file txt and paste all the links there. After pasting the links, remove the quotation marks from both ends and you'll see that the links are ready. Once you're done, click on Save. After saving, return to the Medium Automation section. Remember to follow the same strategy. If you haven't watched the video on content research and planning, you can still use the keyword from the content planner to find the videos on YouTube. Let me show you how you can do that. Let's take an example of this keyword, how to lose belly fat. First, I'll copy this keyword, and then we'll head over to YouTube. After searching for this keyword on YouTube, you can see the results for how to lose belly fat appear. Scroll down to find the relevant video you're looking for. For example, you might find the number one exercise to lose belly fat for good. You can choose any video that suits your preferences. You can watch any video, whether it's five minutes or longer, as long as it's helpful for you to best content. For instance, there's how to lose belly fat fast for women, which you can also consider, but I will go with this one. I will open the video. Once the video is opened, I will simply copy the link to the video. After copying the link to the video, I will return to the medium automation folder. Then I'll open the YouTube video file txt. After opening it, I'll simply paste the link here. Once done, I'll click on save again. Similarly, you have to follow this process to fill your YouTube video file with content sources. One thing, let me tell you before I end this video, it's very important. Make sure that you don't fill more than five videos in the TXT file because you'll be using a free account of Python anywhere. This could cause the program to encounter issues, possibly stopping after three or five days. Therefore, it's crucial to limit the number of videos you add to about five or six. I have observed that the automation works smoothly for five days without interruption. However, if you want to ensure that the automation runs smoothly without any interruptions, I recommend upgrading to the hacker plan, which costs $5. This will prevent any disruptions, allowing the automation to run smoothly. Now, I'll just click on Save and then return to the Medium Automation section. This is a simple way to fill your YouTube video file.txt. That's all for now. Let's move on to the next chapter. In this chapter, we're going to talk about how to get API keys and set up the API keys. First of all, we have to understand what is API and what are the API keys. So let me explain you first what API is. An API is a way for two programs to talk to each other or you can say like work together, share information. Let me give an example. When you use a website or an app, you are using an API to ask for something from another program. The other program then sends back what you asked for like a photo, a video or some other information. You can think of an API like a waiter in restaurant. When you go to a restaurant, you look Look at the menu and then you decide what you want to eat then you tell the waiter your order and the waiter goes to the kitchen to tell the chef and the chef makes your food and gives it to the waiter who brings it back to you the waiter is like an api because he helps you communicate with the chef and get you what you want so similarly here also we need the api access of medium so that we can publish posts on medium through our program and we also need another api that is open api because we want to create the content from the youtube video subtitles we need your two apis first we need the api of medium and then we need the api key of OpenAI. First, we'll get the API keys of Medium. To get the API access of Medium, simply come to your Medium profile. Just go to your profile, then click on Settings here. Then after clicking on Settings, then go to the Security and Apps. After going to the Security and Apps, then just scroll down below and you will see Integration Token. This is where you will get your API keys. Just click on Integration Token and you have to name your Integration Token. I will name it Medium Automation Tool so that you can remember for what purpose you have used this API key. Then you can just click on Get Token. Now, as you can see, your token is created here. One of the most important thing here is that you have to understand that this 
authentication token is a very secret token okay? make sure not to make this public keep it in secret place or you can just keep it here don't show this key to anyone now you can simply copy this token from here select and copy the token and then just click on done your integration token is created now this is the api key to get access to medium from our program now we have to open python anywhere we have to put this integration key somewhere so i'll just go to the python anywhere then we will go to the files here i'll just click here on files for clicking here on files then you have to go to the medium automation then after going to medium automation first you have to open this medium user id then after opening this medium user id here you can see we have the program here and now you can see here access token i've just zoomed in on the line number four you can see we have access token equal to medium integration token so i will just replace this medium integration token and paste the token that we just got so i'll just paste it this one as you can see now what you have to do now we have to save this one right i'll just click here on save make sure to save that there is another file where we have to insert the same access token so i'll just go back to medium automation by clicking here you have to open this one medium publisher so i'll just click here to open the file now after opening that then you can see here this is the access token we have to paste it here again too so i'll just simply select the text and paste it here right as you can see the code is pasted here so i'll just click here and save now the next api key that we need is open a api key so let me show you that how to get the open a api key and where to insert this api key now to get the open a api key you have to simply come to open a.com but right after coming to open a.com when you landed on their website you can see on the top that here you have api just click on the drop down right okay and then you can see overview just click here on overview now after clicking here on overview then you can just simply click here on get started now what you have to do now you have to sign up right if you already have an account to chat gpt you can just use that email to log into your open a developer account or you can simply continue with your google account so i'll just continue with my google account that already connected with chat gpt as you can see we are landed on the open a developer platform or you can say where we will get our api key so now to get the api key what you have to do you would simply go to the left hand side and then after going to the left hand side you can see here like api keys this lock sign you can see here just click here on this api keys all right now you can create here your api key from here right just clicking here on create a new secret key now you can see that i already have one api key that is i'm using for automating my medium right? and for automating my blog if you are not using open api key then you won't see this you'll see completely empty and you just you'll just see this button like a uh, create new secret key before you create the secret key or you can see api key first you have to go to the usage page just click here on usage and in this page you will see that how much you have used the api it will cost something like five dollar thing in the month of maybe august or something like that it costs only like five dollar for me right it will not cost much more than that it will cost you something like one dollar two dollar in october month it cost 2.36 dollar for me and then in the month of february it cost 1.85 dollar if you use every day their api then it may cost something like five dollar eight dollar something like that okay not more than that only if you use for your personal use now here you can see that when you created one account here right i created this account on december 27 as you can see here so i received this credit so open i will give you some 18 dollar of credit so that you can use your api key right 18 dollar credit is good amount of credit if you just have created one account recently with open then definitely you are going to get 18 dollar of credit from them it will expire after some months for example you can see it this balance was expired on april 2023 and i could not use that balance so it is already expired you can also check if it is expired from your account open a account if it is already expired then what you have to do you have to simply go to the settings here then after going to the settings then you have to go to the billing section then after going to the billing section you have to add a payment method here right you can simply click here on buy credits or you can add a payment method here if you add the payment method then they will charge some amount every month that much only like five dollar maybe two dollar eight dollar six dollar something like that not much more than that just click here on add payment method you're going to add your card information your details then it going to provide you the api access if you would like to understand more about api and other stuff then you have to go to the documentation you have to see all the things that they have explained here right so i'm not going very in-depth explaining you about all other things here right i'm just explaining the things that is important for you now to get the api keys again you will go to the api keys here and then you will just click here on create new secret key make sure that you are not sharing this api key with anyone after that i will just name it test after naming it test i will just click here on create secret key you can name it whatever you want as you can see the secret key is created i'll just click here on copy icon and then i'll just click here on done okay and it is enabled so what i will do i will simply go to the python anywhere again you have to go to this file medium story creator and after going here you can see on the line number four it is written that key your open api key just paste it here as you can see i pasted here then after pasting this api key you can just click here on save so this is how you are done with getting and setting up your api keys so we are done with that now we'll move to the next chapter that is getting user id from medium user id is very important that otherwise you're not able to publish on medium so we'll get the user id in this chapter i will show you how to obtain the medium user id to do this navigate to the medium automation folder once in this directory locate the file named medium user id and open it by clicking on it once the file is open simply run the program since we previously inputted the access token we can now run this program smoothly without any issues just click on run this file 
and you will see the console has started working. It will display the result shortly. So as you can see, here we have our user ID. This is what you will see when you run this program. You'll also see your username, page name, page URL, and profile image URL. However, you need to copy the user ID, which is the first one listed here. Simply select and copy the user ID from this section. After copying it, simply return to the Medium Automation directory. Then, from there, we will open the file mediumpublisher.py. Now, once it is open, you can see here that we need to insert our Medium user ID. To do this, I will simply paste the Medium user ID that we just obtained. Then, I will click on Save to save this file. So, we are now done with all the setup. The last requirement that we need is the requirements.txt file. We need to install all the libraries inside this requirements.txt file. So, let's go to the next chapter. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Python libraries that are listed inside the requirements.txt file. In short, we will install the requirements.txt file. The libraries inside the requirements.txt file are also the dependencies needed for this automation. Let me show you which file I am referring to. If I navigate to the Medium Automation directory and open it, you can see that inside this directory we have the requirements.txt file. If you open this, you can see that there are two libraries listed. Firstly, we have the OpenAI library, and secondly, we have the YouTube transcript API. So we need to install these two libraries that are listed inside the requirements.txt file. By installing the requirements.txt file, these libraries will automatically be installed. Let's proceed to install the requirements.txt file. Now to install the requirements.txt file, you simply need to go to the console. When console page is opened, then click on Bash. Once you click on Bash, your Bash console will open. Now what you have to do is simply name your Bash console. You can name it something like Medium Automation. After naming it, simply click on the checkmark icon to save it. After saving it, in the console, you type a command to install the file. But before we proceed with the installation, let me clarify that if you don't understand something in the video, you can follow the text guide provided below this video for the written instructions. It's a step-by-step -step guide with all the instructions on what you should do and what commands you should type. Now in the console, you have to type CD in lowercase without any spaces, then put a space. After writing CD and putting a space, then put a double quotation mark. Then write the name of your directory exactly as it appears. For example, if your directory name is Medium Automation, you should write it exactly like that, without any mistakes. If I navigate to the Medium Automation directory, then you can see how it is written there. Once you're sure about the directory name, return to the console and type it exactly written. Make sure to use underscores or spaces as needed. For example, here the directory name is Medium underscore Automation. So I will type exactly Medium underscore Automation. Now, as you can see, after writing CD and exactly medium automation, I have added the closing double quotation mark. First, there is an open quotation mark. Then there is a closed quotation mark. After writing that, you just hit enter. Now you can see that the directory has been changed to medium automation. We have successfully changed the directory to medium automation. So now we will be running commands in the medium automation directory. To install the requirements.txt file, you simply need to type the command exactly as it is. Make sure not to make any mistakes while typing the command. So simply type like this. pip 3 space install space hyphen hyphen user space hyphen r space requirements.txt. Ensure that you include the spaces and the double hyphens as shown. This command will install all the dependencies listed in the requirements.txt file. Make sure that you are not making any spelling errors while typing the requirements text file name. After writing the command, simply hit enter, and let's see if it starts installing all the libraries inside it. Finally, you can see that it is downloading all the required modules, including the OpenAI module. As you can see, it's now installing the YouTube transcript API and all other necessary components. It might take some time, so don't worry about that. It will just take a couple of seconds to complete. It's not very technical, just follow the steps that I'm showing you. 
It's not very complex or technically challenging. Just follow along. Now, as you can see here, if I zoom in, you can see successfully installed here. It means that all the dependencies are successfully installed now. You can see that it changed the directory back to medium automation. Alternatively, I have crafted a detailed text guide below this video where you can find all the commands and instructions on how to install the file. Now, we can run the program. I will show you how to run the program in the next chapter. There are some more steps to understand before you run the program. Let's move to the next chapter. In this chapter, I'm going to demonstrate how to run our automation system, or in other words, how to execute this automation script. To begin, we need to access the console. As you can see here, I'm currently on the console dashboard. Let me open our specific console named Medium Automation, which we created in the last chapter. Now, upon opening this console, you'll notice it's completely blank. In the previous video, I showed you how to change the directory to the Medium Automation directory using the CD command, and then we installed the requirements.txt file. However, the directory is not displayed here now. The reason for this is that the console operates in a web environment, and there's been a one-day gap between recording this video and the previous one, where we installed the requirements.txt file and libraries. So it was not saved. Since the directory change wasn't saved, we need to repeat the process. If you encounter a similar situation where the directory isn't displayed, you don't need to reinstall the requirements.txt file. Instead, you simply need to navigate to the directory using the cd command. So I'll simply write cd here, then I'll put a space and I will write medium underscore automation. Then I will hit enter. You can see the directory is changed to medium automation. Before we automate the process, I have something important to explain to you. These are not very technical things. You can easily grasp them. Essentially, I would like to show you how long and how many times our program will run daily and how long our output will be. If you understand this clearly, then you can modify some code in the program so that you can make it run as many times as you want daily and publish as many articles as you desire. The current settings in the program make it run only once daily which publishes only one article daily. However, if you would like to publish more articles every day, then you need to understand the settings that I'm going to show you now. To do, we have to go to Files, then we have to open the directory Medium Automation. Now, as you can see, we are inside the Medium Automation directory. Here, we have to open the file named Medium underscore Main. We just opened Medium underscore Main because I would like to explain the two statements in this program. First is the selected model. The selected model is the GPT 3.5 Turbo 16K. You can see it here. This is the model that we'll be using to generate text for our article. We will also use this model for generating titles and other content. You have the flexibility to change the model. You can visit the OpenAI documentation page and choose which model you would like to use. If you choose GPT-4, it will cost more because the token price is higher for GPT-4. So. The choice of model is entirely up to you. Then, here is the sleep duration. It determines how many times the program will run in a day. As you can see, it will sleep for 24 hours after creating one article. So, the program will run once a day. Now, what I wanted to explain to you is that you can change these numbers. For example, it is currently set to 24 hours, but you can change it to 12. Then, it will run twice a day, or even you can change it to 8 hours, then it will run three times a day, depending on your preference. It's entirely up to you how many times you want to allocate. Personally, I prefer running it every 24 hours, but you can adjust it according to your needs. Now let's move on to running the program. We will go back to the console and execute the automation system. In the console, we have already changed the directory. Now the next step here is that we have to run this program in the background which means we want to run the program even if we close Python anywhere. For that, we need something called Screen. Screen is a feature in Python Anywhere that allows you to run the program from the background. So even if you close Python Anywhere from your window, the program will continue to run. This is one of the best things about Python Anywhere. This is why we have chosen Python Anywhere. If we had chosen our desktop application, we couldn't keep it open the whole day because we have to close our laptop or desktop at some point. That's why we have chosen Python Anywhere. 
it will run continuously regardless of day or night. It will just keep on running continuously. To use the screen feature, we will first write screen. After typing screen, we will input a space. Next, add a hyphen. After the hyphen, input capital S. Again, put a space. Then, you have to name your screen. For example, here I will name it my underscore screen. You can choose any name you like for the screen. But for this example, I have used my underscore screen. So the full command is screen hyphen capital S space my underscore screen. After writing the command, I will simply hit enter. Now, you can see that our directory has been hidden. It is because the screen feature is enabled now. Previously, it was displaying the dollar sign in green color and our directory name, but now it is showing only the dollar sign in white color, which indicates that the feature is enabled. So now, we'll be running our program. To run the program, we have to write the command. First, we will type Python 3, then put a space. After that, I have to name my file medium underscore main. It is the exact file name you have to type while writing the command. To ensure that you have entered the correct file name, you go to the directory and copy the medium underscore main dot py file name. After copying, simply come back to the console and paste it here. After pasting, you can check command. It should be like this, python3 space medium underscore main dot py. Now, I will hit enter to see what actually gets executed. Let's hit enter and see the results. I think it's working now, in the back end. Let's wait and see what happens. So, we have to wait for a moment, maybe around 30 to 50 seconds, because all the programs are working in the background. It's calling the API and doing its work, so it will take some time. Unfortunately, we are not able to see the progress here, and I don't know why. There seems to be a problem with this program. I've already included a statement in the program that should show if the post is published or not. Let me show you. If I go to my Python Anywhere program and open the medium underscore main file, you can see that I've included a statement here. It should log post published successfully if the post is published. However, as you can see in the console, it's not showing anything here. There is an alternative way to determine whether the program is working or not, and that is by visiting medium and checking our profile to see if the post is published or not. To do that, I'll navigate to my profile on Medium. Then I'll click on Stories and go to the Published section. OK, now you can see that a story was published just two minutes ago. We've been waiting for this moment, and now it's already published here. This indicates a serious problem with the program. I would suggest you to wait at least one minute after running the program, then come to your Medium profile and refresh the page. This way, you can see whether the post is published or not. Now you can see that the title of our article is a good one, The Science of Losing Weight, Nine Essential Tips for Success. Now let's open this post to see how long it is and how the content is written. You can notice that there is no image at the top, as expected. The headings are very nicely generated. If I scroll down, you'll see that the image has been placed at the end, before the last paragraph. The image should be at the top. The reason behind this image placement may be the prompt that I'm using in the program. But the good thing is, that you can modify the prompt in the medium underscore prompts file. It also depends on the OpenAI API. We've done our best to make the program work, but it completely relies on the output we are receiving from OpenAI. You can always edit the post and bring the image to the top manually. But anyhow, the best thing about the automation program is that it has the ability to publish content in such a well-structured format and consistently generate human-like content all the time. Now, to continue to run the automation in the background, we need to type another command. Since we are using the paid account now, we can put as many video links in our YouTube video file as we want. There will be no problem, and our program will continue to run without any issues. Now, to ensure that the program runs continuously in the background, what we have to do is simply go to the console window. There, we'll type a command. Control plus A, then D. Remember, you need to press Ctrl plus A first, then separately press D on your keyboard. This will detach you from the screen and program will continuously run in the background while you sleep. Now, in the next step, I'll show you how to monitor and optimize the automation to confirm if it's working. There are some steps involved and I'll demonstrate them in the video. We already know that the program is working as I've just shown you an example here on Medium. 
A post with similar structure like this will be published every time, so you don't have to check manually. You can see how beautifully it's written. You can simply go to sleep and the program will run in the background. You don't have to worry about whether it's running or not. That's all you need to do. Okay, now let me show you something here. The total cost incurred in using this OpenAI API. You can see that the total spent is 20 cents, but this is not the actual price of running our automation once. Since previously, I tried to test my automation to see if it was working or not. This is why it shows 20 cents, which is the total API usage for two runs. You can see the breakdown here. 4 cents for the GPT, 3.5 turbo model, and 6 cents for the image model. When I checked after running the program once, I observed the cost was 12 cents. Since we are using the image model and text model multiple times in our program, you can expect the cost to be something between 8 cents to 12 cents every time, not more than that based on my experience. Now, if I navigate to the activity section, you'll find all the details there. For instance, API request 1 for the GPT, 3.5 Turbo 0125 was initiated once. Here, you can view comprehensive details, including the API name, organization, and token usage for GPT, 3.5 Turbo and GPT, 3.5 Turbo 16K. Similarly, you'll see the number of API calls made for image models. Every detail is listed here, allowing you to understand your usage better. You can also set limits on your usage to manage costs. For instance, if you increase the number of API calls daily, your costs will rise accordingly. However, running the program once in a day is unlikely to cost more than 8 cents or 12 cents per day. So, assuming a daily API usage cost of 12 cents, the total monthly API cost would be $3.60. But, presuming a maximum cost, it might reach around $4 to $5 monthly, not exceeding that amount. Now let's proceed to the next chapter, monitoring and optimizing automation. In this chapter, I will show you how you can optimize and monitor your automation system, whether it is working in the background or not. There are two ways you can monitor whether your program is working or not. One is the active way where you have to go to the Python Anywhere console and check. And other is the passive way where you can get email notification whether your automation system is working or not. First, let me demonstrate the active way. I will simply access the console from the Python Anywhere dashboard. This is the console we created as you can see right here. So I will simply click on the console medium automation. After clicking on the medium automation console, you will see the console is open, still detached from the screen. It indicates that it's running in the background. Here is what we will do next. We will reattach to the screen and see what's happening and after that we will detach from the screen again. So to do that we have to type again a command. I hope that you remember what we named our screen previously. The name of our screen is my screen. So here what command we are going to type. I will simply type a command like screen then hyphen r my underscore screen. This command will take us back to our screen where we can observe the progress and check if it is working as expected. After writing the prompt I will just hit enter. As you can see program is continuing as the previous command is still displaying without any errors. If you'd like to stop the program, you can simply type exit below or you can type control plus C. You have to check it very regularly, okay, it's very important, perhaps every one or two days so that you can ensure that your automation is working. Now to detach from the screen again, simply press control plus A and then press D. Here is a reminder, always make sure to type control plus A and then D every time you try to leave the screen while running the program. Otherwise your automation system might stop working. Once your screen is detached again, let's move on to the next step to show you you how to get email notification to know if your automation is working or not. Now to receive email notification and ensure whether your program is working properly, you need to follow these steps. First, you will need another medium profile. If you already have an existing account, you can use that. Personally, I have multiple accounts, so I will use one of them. Let me open the account and demonstrate. As you can see, this one is one of my other accounts that I have been using. What I will do here is follow my weight loss Wiz account, which is a profile we are using for automation. We publish all the automation content related to weight loss and other topics here. To do this, I will simply copy the link from here. I will select and copy the URL from the address bar. Then I will go to my other medium profile and paste the copied link in the address bar and hit enter. Now my weight loss Wiz account will open here. Once it is open, I will simply click on follow and then I have to click on subscribe. Okay, by doing this, I will get email notification whenever weight loss Wiz publish a new post. So I will simply click here on subscribe and then I will click on confirm now. So I can track now. Now you have to understand which email I am using in this case. Let me go to the profile settings and show you which email I am using 
using here. As you can see, this is the email that I'm using here. It means that in this email ID, I will receive emails from Weight Loss Wee's account. Whenever Weight Loss Wee's publishes a new post, I will get an email notification to my email account or you can say in my inbox. Let's try this out. I'll publish a Medium article and see if we receive any notification. If we do get a notification, we can understand that our automation system is working. We can track it with email. Let me demonstrate how it works. To demonstrate this, I will simply open Medium Automation Console. After opening the Medium Automation Console, you can see that there is no program is currently running. This is because I have already cancelled them. There is no need for me to run it as I already have another Medium profile. This is why I stopped running the program. Now I want to run the program again and demonstrate it to you. So I'll do that and again I'll go back to my directory. So I will simply type here cd command and then I'll type Medium Automation to navigate to the appropriate directory. I'm not going to run this program on screen previously we have created my screen because I'm just going to stop the program after this demonstration. I will just run it simply here on the console. So I will type the command python3 medium underscore main dot py. That was our file name, right? So I've just exactly written that way. That's all. Now I'll just hit enter and after some seconds, we will check my medium profile and also our email to see if we get any notifications because I've already set up the program to send email notifications. So let's first go to the medium and check if the post is published or not because we cannot confirm anything from here. I will simply go to the medium profile. So as you can see, I'm in my medium profile now. What I will do is I need to refresh this page to see if the post is published yet. It seems that post is not published yet. So I need to go to the storage section. Then on the publish section, it is not published yet. So I will refresh it again. Like it appears that it is not published yet. So I think that I have to wait for some time because the API is working in the background. Let us wait for some time and see if it is published or not. Now as you can see the post is published just 9 minutes ago. I don't think that we received any notification. Let us check if we have received any email notification or not. So I'll go to my inbox and see if we have received any email notification. If I refresh the inbox you can see that I have not received any email. Maybe the reason is that we have just one follower here. So this strategy may not work. However it actually works on personal account. This is my personal account that is in Dish Marketer. To demonstrate, I will first click here on write to write a post. Then I will write the title, just I'll keep it test and I will write the story as test. Then I'll click on publish. You can see that there is an option to send the link to your email subscriber. As you can see, this is a checkbox we have to send the link to our email subscriber. I think it's working here because I have enough followers and subscriber in this account. Maybe for that reason, I'm able to see this, but you will not able to see this because you'll have a new account. This is the problem. I thought that this method would work, but unfortunately this method is not working. I think you need at least some followers to make this work. One follower is not enough. I don't want to publish this post now, but if, if I were to click on publish and send now, I can show you an example how I receive email notification after publishing a post. But I don't want to publish it now. If I were to publish and send it now, many people who are subscribed to my receiving medium content, then they would receive this test email. It doesn't look like professional. This is why I'm not publishing this post. Otherwise, I would receive an email notification. This is one method, okay, but unfortunately, it is not working for weight loss buoys and like smaller account. You can try it on your system and see if it works for your medium profile. If it doesn't work then you may need to grow your followers and later on you can use this method to get email notification to check your program is working or not. But currently you have to do these things manually. Now let me show you how you can optimize your program so that it runs for a longer period not just for a short time like 5 days or 3 days but for an extended duration like 30 days, 2 months or even 3 months. To do this, you need to navigate to your files and open Medium Automation directory. Once you access the directory, open the YouTube video file .txt. When you open this file, you can see here a total 6 video links which indicates that the program will continue to run up to 6 days. This is because we have set it up to retrieve the transcript of one video every 24 hours. It will find one video from YouTube and it will extract the transcript and convert it to a Medium article. Now since we have configured it for 24 hour duration, it will process one video per day as indicated by 6 videos listed in the respective 6 lines. Consequently, the program will run only 6 times covering 6 days. After this period, the program will stop. So what we can do after these 6 days? Simply delete all the video links from here once it is published and then you can input up to 30 videos or even 60 video links for the next 2 or 3 months respectively. If you add 90 videos, it will operate for the next 3 months and with 120 videos, it will work for 4 months. The duration of the automation entirely depends on the number of the unique videos you input. So ensure that all the videos are distinct, different and you utilize medium content content planner and one thing keep in mind that to use the medium content planner spreadsheet to track which videos you have used so this is how you can optimize it around for a longer period of time you can first put one link then another link then the other link like this you can so and so forth you continue this process adding like third fourth fifth so and and so forth links consecutively you can keep adding links in this manner after putting all the links you can click on save like then you can exit and run the program again it will run up to 30 days let's say two to three months depending on the number of the videos you have added if you 
you add 10 videos, the program will run for 10 days. If you add 90 videos, it will run for 3 months. So it is entirely up to you and the number of the videos you input.